Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today planning in my recipe planner. Uh, so this week I am filming, this is a back of the page spread. Um, the front of it is pancakes and so this is from the family favorite section which has pretty much become our uh, breakfast area in my recipe planner. Um, so I figured that the best recipe to put on the back of pancakes is crepes. So this is how I had been saving all of our recipes prior to getting my recipe planner and it really wasn't working for me. I love the idea of having a recipe box but this is like a glossy material so my ballpoint pens don't really work on it, my gel pens don't really work on it. Every so often I'd be writing a recipe out and I'd need to scribble on the back to get the ink to start again. So some of this is a little bit difficult to read while you're trying to cook, so that's why we are going to be moving it into this. So we're going to start off by writing the name of the recipe. I'm using my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the point seven. Um, so last week, let's see, yeah, I think we'll just kind of center it-ish. Um, last week I did not do a recipe spread because I just wasn't feeling motivated. I didn't know what I wanted to do and I just had a lot of just a lot of trouble. So I figured instead of trying to force something, I just wasn't going to decorate anything last week, which worked. Like I feel good about that. So I know for this week that I want to use some very light colors. This is the inspiration for this week. It is a Simply Gilded Bow Washi. It is a just her classic pink with champagne gold foil. So that's the inspiration. I have these as well. These are some of her other, like I think her classic colors. I don't know. This pink is supposed to, I think, be the same shade. It's almost the same. It's slightly grayer, but it's close enough. Um, so I've got all these pretty pastels and I'm just not sure. Oh, maybe in the, um, oh, what is it? Here it is, colorful boxes. So for my crepes, there are actually six, um, six ingredients. So we have flour, eggs, milk, water, salt, butter. Yes, six ingredients. And you know what? This box is pretty, pretty close to what, what I need. So, oh, hopefully it's enough lines. Ha, plenty. So what we'll do, we will go ahead. So I think it's going to be a little bit tall. That's okay though. It's not that big of an issue. Yeah. So I think what we'll do, let me, okay. Normally I don't start decorating until after I have, okay, here, wait, I have an idea. Okay. I put the sticker back in the box, box book momentarily and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead I'm trying to locate everything that I need in order to do this and I only have one thing in my line of sight there's the other one underneath the sticker book okay I don't usually decorate first but I'm going to I'm gonna make an exception and I'm going to go ahead and stick this going all the way across I can't get it off my finger there um I'm gonna take this, let's see. Oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. Um, so I cut out where it said ingredients so that the washi is still there. So now what I'm gonna do, because it's actually gonna be a little bit hard to write on here, like on the sticker on here because of the washi. So I'm going to write the ingredients 
in the book. All right, so I have everything written down, so now I'll take it back out of the sticker book, since that was a nice level surface. And then what I'm gonna do is try my best to center it on the washi and the page for that matter, but beggars can't be choosers, am I right? So hopefully I get it. It's definitely pushed off to this side a little much, but that's okay. It is good enough. All right, so we have the, oh, apparently that wasn't completely stuck down. So we have the ingredients written down. Uh, pepper, hey. Okay, got the dog well settled. So, okay, here is my dilemma that I was trying to figure out. I've got this blue now, and of course I have the pink, but I don't have any other stickers, especially in the sticker book, that's really going to go. So, because like these are not, and I realize that they're upside down for you, but I'm sorry. This is just how I'm flipping. And yeah, these aren't going to work. These hexagons are not going to work. And then we're out of that colors. So what I'm gonna do instead is this washi is basically the right color. And this is something else that I do sometimes. I am going to use the washi and I'm going to use it as a like border in between each, oh, let me flip this upside down, in between each of the different um, prep steps. So I'm going to get this down up here first and then this also should do a pretty good job of masking that curved edge. Um, the, I'm not exactly sure why, but the preparation section has the curved edge edges I mean and the ingredients does not so it's I don't know just a little odd to me so sometimes I like to try to keep it covered now I'm not going to use this to go across where it says preparation because the wash is just not thick enough for that so we're going to end it right there now I'm going to go ahead and get the steps written in and then in between each of the steps like the sections of the steps, I will put another line of washi tape just to fill in space. All right, so I have everything written down, so now I wanna come over here to the sidebar. The funny thing is, I did not write down how many it serves, so I can't fill that in. The main ingredient, it's, I mean, kinda odd to try to fill in what the main ingredient is, because like, do I put down that it's flour or eggs? So we're not going to worry about that. For difficulty though, I'm gonna just kinda give this a three. It's not, it's not terribly difficult to do. So three sounds good. And then as far as the preparation, it, I would say it probably takes about five or 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long to get everything all set. And then cook time, like for everything, I'm not sure, but for each one, it's about two minutes, which I put down here, which by the way, let me take a step back up here. I do want to just kind of go over the ingredients. So the capital C stands for cups. So one cup of flour, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water. The lowercase t over here is teaspoon, so a quarter teaspoon of salt. And the capital T is tablespoon, so two tablespoons of butter melted. So just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Um, in the directions, I do have medium high heats, but I am going to transfer that over here to temperature. And then over here, really quick for notes, um, there are a couple of things that I want to put down. Um, how do I want to phrase this? All 
All right, so I have that down. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to notate, but now I don't remember what it was. I always have two frying pans going at the same time because you can only make one in a frying pan at any time. So to try to cut it down so that like you have more finishing quickly and just cut down the time, I have two small fry, two frying pans that are roughly the same size, so I just use both of them simultaneously. And then down here under serves with, I normally serve it with like some sort of a fruit filling. Okay, so fruit fillings, usually we make this with apples because it's what we have for breakfast the day after we do our apple picking, right? Yes. <laughs> My oldest is here with me hanging out. Um, she came midway through the video. So I usually do it with apples, but you could do a banana filling, you could do a strawberry filling, um, and it's also really good when you top it with whipped cream. All right, so now what I wanna do is I want to make this a little bit pretty. So we have some space down here and I don't wanna take up too much of it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually going to use the 10 millimeter and I am gonna go all the way to the end of the shaded section. And that's not straight. Okay, well here, I will go, I will cut it to the end of the shaded section, but I apparently need to have this excess because that's just who I am as a person. And where's the end of this? All right, so we've got that, and I kind of like how that looks with the pink and the uh, blue. So I'm gonna do the same at the bottom. All right, and that's going to do it for this spread. I still have empty space here and down here, but I mean, oh, I know what I can put. There's not a whole lot of just script stickers in the food sticker book, but I have this. So I'm going to use the one that says, oops, I mean, it doesn't say oops. Um, I just knocked something, but it says so good. So I'm going to put that right here just to fill up that space because it was just looking a little too empty for my liking. Um, everything else, having the extra space here and here could be helpful down the road if I need to do anything, like make any changes or anything like that. So yeah, that is going to, let me push that out of the way, that's gonna do it for this spread. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. You can, you want to go ahead. You don't have to if you don't want to, if you're too cool. There you go. <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as all of my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram over there. I am at Coffee Planner Mom. And I will see you guys later. You don't want to go fingers. Okay, she's too cool. You oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs>